Hey guys, welcome back to Crab Central Station. Today, we're gonna to talk to you about everything you need to know when it comes to feeding your hermit crabs. We're gonna talk about four major categories. First, we're gonna talk about the crab food pyramid. Then we're gonna talk about what crabs can eat and what they can eat. And we're gonna talk about what our crabs really like to eat. There are six different food groups that you need to keep in mind when you start to prepare food for your hermit crabs. That's right, and those are proteins and lipids, chitin, carotenoids, carbohydrates, omega fats, and calcium. <laughs> in addition to those six categories, it is really important for you guys to offer something called green sand, which is an algae from uh, the ocean floor, and also worm castings, which is worm Ew. poop. Okay, so when you think about protein and lipids, this is one of the most important food groups to make sure that you are feeding every single night and probably more than one choice even. Um, what protein does for your crabbies is it helps them with growth, energy, it encourages molting, which is how they grow. It also helps with their metabolic process and function, as well as discouraging cannibalism. And that's the one you really wanna be careful about. If your crabs seem to be fighting each other, it might be because you're not offering them enough protein choices. So I'm gonna give you a list of all the different proteins that you could offer your hermit crabs. I'm gonna read them on the list, okay? So all meats, of course, what you are used to having, which can be cooked or raw, beef, chicken, pork, shrimp, oysters, lobster, okay, you can do a lot of the seafood as well. Um, I would cook all of the seafood um, just so that you don't give your crabs a chance of getting what's called shell rot. We'll talk about that in a different video. Um, also, you can offer egg or egg yolk, and you can do that raw, although it kind of gets into your substrate, so I would suggest cooking it at least somewhat. Um, you can give them any kind of nuts, pecans, walnuts, peanuts, all right, coconut oil, olive oil, and palm oil um, are good choices. Alfalfa hay, broccoli, bloodworm, millet, rice, and flax are all great sources of protein. All right, so now let's talk about carotenoids. So they are important for the immune system, the nervous system, and color enhancement, which I don't know about y'all, but like when you have really, really vibrant crabs, it makes it way more fun to watch them. Um, so that's what you need carotenoids for. These are all often found in barks, leaves, flowers. Um, they can either be fed in a dish or you can spread them out over your tank, um, like we call it leaf litter. Um, so those are two ways that you can feed those to your crabs. Um, hermit crabs live in trees in their normal tropical environment, so they have an endless supply of carotenoids. So it's really, really important that you supply this in your hermit crab tank. Okay, so popular places to find carotenoids for your crabs are gonna be fruits, veggies, um, specifically like red, orange, and yellow, and then like super dark green vegetables and fruits. Um, you can of course find them in the leaves, you can find them in bark, you can find them in moss, um, that's sphagnum moss. Um, we also like to feed our crabby cilantro, bell peppers, those are those colored vegetables that we were talking about. Um, and shrimp and salmon are also really popular food sources to get carotenoid to your crabs. Okay, so the next item is carbohydrates, and those give your hermit crabs energy and fuel. And of course, you would love to have active hermit crabs, so we wanna give them a lot of energy. So some examples of those will be grapes, which they love, apples, one of their favorites, different kinds of grains, such as oatmeal, uh, you can give them raisins, honey, although just give them a little bit of that because of all the sugar content, bananas, citrus pulp, and seaweed. All right, so the next food group on our list is calcium, which I'm sure you all know is super important for humans to develop your bones. But what you might not know is it's actually super important for crabs because it helps to develop a healthy exoskeleton. So ways that you can get calcium to your crabs is through freeze-dried shrimp, mealworms, cuddle bone, which I'll talk a little bit more about at the end, oyster shells, nuts, krill, um, okra, quinoa, and beans. So talking about the cuddle bone, that's something that you find in the bird aisle of pet stores and you can keep it in your tank at all times. The crabs love it and it's a good constant source of calcium. I also put the oyster shells in the little dish of worm castings and so it's always in the tank. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is omega fats. And these are important because they help your hermit crab's nervous system, um, exoskeleton, and they help process minerals such as carotenoids. So some examples of those omega fats would be coconut, walnut, fish skin, olive oil, seeds, 
and peanut butter. A couple of fun little facts on the seeds. You can get chia seeds, which they love, but you can also sprinkle them in your substrate. And with all the humidity in your tank, they actually will grow into plants and the hermits like that as well. All right, so the last final food group on our food pyramid for crabs is gonna be chitin. And chitin is super, super important for the exoskeleton development, which I know is a recurring theme, but it's important. So places that you can get chitin for your crabs are shrimp, crab, lobster, crawfish, but make sure you're boiling the crawfish, and then insect exoskeletons like crickets, and then also through mushrooms. So it's really important to feed your hermit crabs all of these different foods from these different food groups. Um, just like it's important for us to eat a varied diet, it's important for your hermit crabs as well. We talked about the reasons why, that they have important exoskeletons, that when they molt and grow, um, they don't have any difficulties with that. But also we talked about their coloring, we talked about how active they are. And so if you want a happy, healthy hermit crab, you'll want to make sure that you're feeding them a variety of foods from all these different um, areas that we just talked about. And now let's talk about what you should not be feeding your crabs. So this is whether it's toxic to them or it's not gonna end up well if you feed it to them. Um, so this is just that whole entire list. So first let's talk about store-bought oh, pellets. No. When we started our crab journey, this is what we fed our crabs. And let me tell you, there was a big, big change in behavior when we started feeding them actual food that was supporting their systems and what they were actually supposed to be eating. Um, they were more active, their exoskeletons were more vibrant and beautiful. Um, we just, we noticed an all around good change and that's because pellets don't give them any of the nutrients they really need. It, it really just fills their stomachs enough for them to slowly die basically. Even if you see your hermit crab eating them, they smell good to them, but they're, they're actually toxic to their, their system. They can't actually process that pellet food. So if you've bought something that says hermit crab food on it, just throw it away. Um, so any product with additives, preservatives, salts, spices are a no-go. Um, they really can't process very many spices like paprika, salt, pepper, anything like that. Um, so make sure when you're feeding them something from the store, it hasn't been seasoned with any type of seasoning, completely just natural the way it's supposed to be. So then we talk about uncooked shellfish. You always want to make sure that you're boiling it. Again, no salt, no seasonings, just boiled, but you don't want to give it to them raw. Um, uncooked dark leafy greens are important to not feed your crabs because they actually are going to block the absorption of calcium. So you want to make sure to cook those leafy greens. Aloe vera, blue bonnet, canola oil or canola, um, cinnamon, onion. Definitely don't feed your crabs onion. Um, I know it would seem like maybe they could have it because it's a vegetable. They can have most vegetables, not onion, not garlic. Um, don't do rosemary or thyme or tea tree or any ivies. All right, so be sure to check out the safe and unsafe food list we have linked below. That's written by Miss Stacy Griffith, an awesome hermit crab enthusiast, and they're really, really beneficial for telling you what's safe for your crabs, what's not safe for your crabs. A lot of this information came from those lists, and that's what we use whenever we're feeding them, and we've never had any problems, so they're super, super helpful. All right, so just last thing about food. It's the most fun part, I think, about having your hermit crabs, other than watching them. Definitely. But the food is what makes them active, so that's what makes that part fun. I encourage you to check out that link in um, below about the safe and unsafe foods so that you can look at all the different varieties. We've just given you something to start with, but there's so, so many more. So get in the kitchen, look in your fridge, your freezer, check out your pantry. You can even use some canned goods. Check for salt and preservatives, like we said, and have fun making a buffet for your hermit crabs. Um, every night or every other night. Just one little thing to keep in mind. With the fresh foods, they do grow mold naturally, and so you'll wanna keep an eye on that. We tend to have to trade ours out and clean our dishes every 48 hours at the most. Sometimes every day, especially like strawberries tend to mold really quickly. So you'll have to pull those out after 24 hours. So keep an eye on that. Um, the dried foods that we gave you ideas about with your leaf litter, your seeds and grains and those type of dry or dehydrated foods, those can last a lot longer in your tank. And so we always offer both um, for our crabs at all times. Thanks so much for watching guys. And again, check out the link below. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think about this. We hope this helps and we'll see you in the next one.